Look at the size of these beans I'm getting off of the Scarlet Emperor Runner Beans. I have to highly recommend this plant to anyone who wants to grow beans. Out of all the plants in my greenhouse, this one seems to be adding the most plant mass, probably. You can see it's just, it's big, even hangs out the top over there. And it's producing these giant beans. So definitely get Scarlet Emperor Runner Beans if you want to. Still making new flowers. Just gonna open one of these up so we can see what the beans look like. They're supposed to be red inside. Oh yeah, look at that. Huge red beans. The only thing is it doesn't like it too hot, so I think this greenhouse during the summer might not be the best place for it. Another thing to show you, about to harvest my first couple of aquaponics tomatoes. You can see this one split. I think that has to do with how much water it's getting. But there it is, first aquaponics tomato that I've ever harvested. And we've got another one down here. Also split. I think this one could wait another day or two on the plant. If anybody knows what I should do about this splitting, please let me know. And this cucumber plant. So many cucumbers. I don't even know. I've probably gotten at least 12 big cucumbers off this one plant. I'm not sure if there are any big ones on it right now. We'll just look. You can see these are all... All of these are going to turn into a cucumber, or most of them are. I can show you, oh here's a nice fat one. It's produced so many of these. It's For one family of three people, this one cucumber bush is almost more than we know what to do with. You'd have to pickle them or something. I'm also pretty happy with the way the Malabar spinach is growing. For a long time it's just sat down here, like you can see the second plant, just sitting down here small, but then I don't know what happened. Eventually it just decided it was going to take off and it's shooting up vines all over straight up and it's getting more and more branches coming off of it. And this Cape Gooseberry, the berry that I've not yet ever tasted, it has all of these pods. Each one of these pods is a berry and you can see there are a lot of them. So. I'm pretty excited about that. I'm not sure how to tell when they're ripe since they're inside of a pod, but I think the container turns brown. Or, you know what, here, I'll open one for you on the video and see what it looks like inside right now. Okay, that was too soon, I guess. It's just a little green thing inside of there. But there's a lot of them, so eventually I'll be eating some of these. This is aquaponics, I don't even remember exactly which, I think it was basil, but these were some seeds that came for free in the mail, and they're growing pretty good, and I know you can't smell through the camera, but it smells and tastes really good. And I ended up ripping out most of my lettuce and I've replanted this. Uh, it was sold to me as watercress but I'm not sure if it's actually the normal watercress. But it does grow good and it tastes fine. But I had this issue with the lettuce where I waited too long and it kind of turned into wood. The stems did. And it turned really bitter. But it also was kind of bitter the whole time compared to most lettuce that I'm used to. If anybody could tell me maybe I'm just not knowing what lettuce is supposed to taste like or Maybe it has something to do with my water. And these pepper plants have been growing really slow. They were kind of swallowed up inside the lettuce forest, but you can see this one, cayenne pepper. It's doing its thing. It's getting some peppers on it. It's got several flowers. I think it'll probably make like 10 peppers this season, I'm guessing. We've also got these delicious chives. They're not very big yet, but there's four plants right there. 
Also, look. This was an interesting experiment. Carrots in gravel in the aquaponics system. Aquaponic carrots. So I'm not sure how well they're doing, but since I'm filming, I'll just pull one out for you and see. And we do have a carrot. So that's good to know. They do work. It doesn't even really look deformed. I mean, it's crooked, but works fine to grow carrots and gravel if you want to. So the fish seem to be doing pretty good. They're growing a lot. We might not eat right now with me standing here, but they might. We'll see. I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but Let's see if it can focus. They've gotten a lot bigger. This is early testing of a device for doing a mask changing magic trick. No, it's not a terrorist costume, but when I first saw the video of it, after filming this I couldn't stop laughing because it just looks like I'm a terrorist in this picture.